I stopped posting on social media because I lost so many people in COVID. And I'm still losing friends in COVID to this day. Derek Coleman, the big guy with an even bigger heart. NBA basketball star, giant, and just like so many of us, hit by COVID. And the hardwood, his passion, which led to his purpose to provide hope and possibilities for children was also put on pause. I put it off all last year. I didn't want to put anybody in harm's way. But as things started to show some sign of light, Coleman's phone lit up. And a lot of coaches got to call me like, hey, what's up with Summer League? The kids from 12 to 18, 19, that's my demographics. Those are my kids. So I reached out to Bowman, I said, hey, I got this idea. I want to create this partnership with you guys to come in and test these kids. Because more than anything, I want to create a safe environment for our kids and our parents. And Beaumont Health has been beyond happy to assist. We were all in. We saw this partnership as a wonderful opportunity to reach kids that we have not been able to reach at this point. Basketball is, is the tool or the platform. The focus then really becomes on how do you bring educational opportunities to the participants. So Beaumont came in, they've been doing a great job. We took this opportunity to put education about COVID in the mix. Not only just COVID, but about nutrition, you know, about diabetes, about concussions, even mental health. With everything that we've been through this past uh, year and a half, you know, mentally, a lot of our kids are unstable. This floor can be part of the process of rebuilding that foundation that the pandemic shook. And Derek is always humbled to be involved with making that kind of impact. It's in my DNA and who I am as a person. I've been raised that way my whole life, you know, giving back, helping people. DC Elite Summer League, 50 boys teams, 10 girls teams inside Groves High School. They show up to the courts Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays ready to play at 4 p.m. sharp. That is 60 teams, and that is a lot of athletes. And there are still teams calling, but there's not enough space. Well, Coleman has a solution for that. My vision, my goal is to build my own facility. And imagine if we had eight floors in the city of Detroit, we would have over 100 and some teams participate. Getting basketball to the level it used to be in the city, throughout Metro Detroit, and all across Michigan, and someone who knows the value that brings from all angles, former NBA star and former Detroit mayor, Dave Bing, friend and mentor to Derek. And we've just formulated a long-term relationship of supporting each other. And I'm so pleased that uh, Derek never left and uh, his commitment to the city and to this area and to the young people in this area is kind of unprecedented. The basketball is always the carrot. That's what I dangle. I dangle the carrot. But see, if I got you in this gym, I got your attention. I can expose you to everything else in life. Our kids struggle with so much, and we need to keep those wraparound services year round. I didn't know we had such a huge homeless problems with kids here in the city of Detroit. So imagine if we had our own facility with dormitories on the back of it, where kids can actually come and stay. And the biggest thing with it, Andre, is we're taking kids off the streets. Passing opportunities of empowerment to all of our children. Now, that is one heck of a rebound that every young person deserves. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.